Hello everyone. Today I'm going to share with you my quince trees. I've got quite a few of these and some of them have been made from cuttings, propagated and made into bonsais from cuttings. And if you're new and you're visiting, please subscribe, hit that subscribe button and then hit the bell and check the box and save and you will receive notifications of all my updates. This is the first of the quince trees uh, and uh, has a lot of buds. Some of them haven't opened yet. Right, um, this is the apex of the tree and uh, you can see how many quince flowers have opened up. There's loads of flowers further down on the branches and also at the front here. And these buds have not yet opened. And on the right side we have uh, this branch and again flowers have opened up and these buds are yet to open. These are the flowers on the middle of the tree and uh, we'll just try and work our way around it. That's the view of the right branch of this particular tree. Okay this is the tree in its full view. I like these trees this time of the year. I've, I've got them around my garden and uh, it just makes the garden look very very pretty before the other flowers start to appear and also afterwards it bears fruit uh, they are uh, soft quince fruits uh, on these uh, these little trees uh, this is the second of the quince trees and i will give it a quick turn and this one also has uh, quite a few flowers and this branch I'm letting it grow this branch I'm letting it grow and it's quite long at the moment I'll bring it into the camera and it will be pruned back to about there and that will be when the flowers finish and uh, at that stage I will prune it and it will be propagated and I will make another quince tree out of it and the same applies to this branch here is being allowed to grow intentionally will be pruned back to about there and uh, again propagated and same thing with this one it'll be pruned back to about there and propagated and that is how I make more quince trees one of my favorite Chinese quince trees and last year it uh, bloomed and um, yeah, there were flowers but not as many as this year and also in the previous video you'll have seen uh, one solitary quince hanging on and uh, that was last year's uh, fruit and this year it has bloomed very nicely as you can see up here uh, and not all the buds have opened yet there are buds up here buds here which haven't opened and buds here and likewise on this branch here there's this flower which is um, just about opening and the rest of the buds haven't yet opened and it's um, a difficult tree to thicken I've managed to get it this thick but it takes years to get it uh, to thicken as much as this virtually the top of the tree and I'll zoom in a little bit more and uh, you can sort of take a closer look at the flowers and this is the apex of the tree with uh, a few flowers and buds up there look, look quite nice these are more flowers at the upper end of the tree and after this we will move on to the smaller quince trees which have been propagated and made from cuttings taken in the previous years. This is another little quince 
uh, and it was uh, propagated from a cutting made from one of the larger trees. I'll give it a quick turn and uh, it's got most of the flowers and buds on this sideways branch. It's another of uh, the cuttings uh, from which uh, this tree was made is uh, doing quite well and uh, again the branches will be thrown back once the flowers are finished and made into more little quince trees. This, uh, this branch will be thrown back to about here and this branch will be pruned back to about here and uh, this again will be pruned back to about there and we'll end up with a very tiny cutting and these also are quite interesting the tiny cuttings I don't throw them away and I'll just share with you what I've done with uh, uh, a similar cutting in the past. Right this is what I do with the very tiny cuttings here's a very good example this little pot is virtually like a thimble, uh, slightly larger, maybe two or three thimbles. And um, we'll zoom in and show you uh, what happens. Now, uh, this is a close-up of the uh, little quince cutting that I propagated a couple of years ago. And um, it hasn't flowered yet, but I'm looking forward to the day when it uh, has its first flower. And uh, after this, I've got one more. So this is the last of the quince trees. Again, uh, propagated from cuttings uh, over the last few years. And uh, it was the first one to flower and the flowers are now starting to fall off. There's still a few buds that haven't opened. And it's not uh, the best of the trees or the flowers. As, as I said, it flowered early and uh, the, the flowers are not dropping off. But what I wanted to share with you was that what can be done with cuttings is quite a small tree and very cute. That's all the quinces for today. Thank you for watching and if you're new here then please subscribe, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell and tick the box and save. Then you will receive notifications of all my uploads as they happen so you will not miss anything. This is Iqbal Khan for Mick Bonsai in West London. Now the afterthought. Why do mummies have difficulty in making friends? Because they are too wrapped up in themselves. You dig?